Good morning, everyone. Come, come, come. It's been a while. Ah, okay. I just felt the need to share this because some of you are not ready. You are not serious about yourself, about your health, about your general well-being. I'm not saying everybody must go to the gym, but you have to move. Your body was designed to be moved. You can't be sedentary. Your health is a priority, not an option. I'll repeat that. Health is a priority, not an option. This is the other. God, health, family, and others. Because without health, you can't do anything. If you are not at optimum health, you can't do anything. All your dreams, your desires, and your goals. If you are on a hospital bed, if you are ill, how will you achieve it? Your mind can't even comprehend thinking of strategies, thinking of things. So when people say, ah, kid, it's not, it's not easy. When I started this fitness journey, ha, I'll go, go three classes back to back. Then when I go on holiday, that's it. I'll rest. Ah, after all, come back. The simplest things, my jumping jacks and little things I could do. I'm out of breath. I'm panting. I'm like, ah. I guess I'm before. No be ownership in fitness. You can't cheat and get ahead in fitness. Even if you try and take the shortcuts, do the gastric thing, do the, the tummy talk, the, the, you have to maintain it. It is so important. Whatever shortcut you choose, if you choose, you cannot make, you cannot do it forever. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. You have to do that which is sustainable for you. Walking. People underrate it so much. Dancing. Skipping. And after that, you eat healthy. Once in a while, you treat yourself. There's no hard and fast rule about it. You don't have to starve. You don't have to diet. Just eat in moderation. Cut down the oils. Cut down the salt. Cut down the sugar. Some people go all the way. They are vegetarians. They are pescetarians. They are, it's okay. But you have to move your body. Once you're moving your body, then you take care of your nutrition. You are on a winning streak. In short, what you put inside is your mouth. Overrides your fitness. But by the time you add fitness to it, you are, you are flying without wings. I'm telling you, you are not serious. If your health is important to you, you will exercise. You will move, regardless of whether you have access to a gym or not. You have a space in your home. Even those under the bridge, I see them exercising. You have those uh, cement block. I see them doing chest press and all that. So what's your excuse? As you are getting older, <laughs> women, hey, I know I pay particular attention to women. I'm a woman. I know what goes on in our body. As we get older, hey, hey, I was chatting with a friend who had a, a, a small accident. Well, I think it's a big accident. And she fell and her leg was, you know, scratched and everything. A week, I'll be two weeks, I'll be how many weeks of not exercising. The muscles were now like, ah, we're not here again. You must exercise. The muscles protect your bones. You know, they protect you. you give your body that structure, that firmness. You must exercise. There's no other way. If you like, take shortcuts. You have to move. There's so many people have taken shortcuts. And the end of the day, you see that after a few years, back to zero maintain it move your body please so that as you get older you'll not be using zima frame yes you will use what can see you will use, but the degree and the extent to which you use it won't be so much we men men are pauses we some includes madness loss of memory all flashes that's a general market and other stuffs, <laughs> dryness and stuffs, depression, plenty things come with it. I'll have that discussion on another day. Move. 
Thank you. Mwah.